What's up YouTube? It's been a while. We're back with another video for you. I'm your host Al, Josh, and together we are Pickups. Alright, so today, today we, we made a good pickup. What did we pick up, Josh? We have the Amamania 12s in both colorways. Both colorways? Both colorways. So the white and the black? Yep. Alright, so we're going to review those. We're going to get into those today, yeah. Alright man, it's been a while. I know you guys have been waiting for another video from us. We're trying YouTube, it's not easy. But <laughs> stay tuned because just as we review these Amma Maneers, both colorways, we got a little, little something extra for you guys, a little something special. So don't change that channel, don't go anywhere else. We're gonna review some really, really good shoes today and, and hopefully you guys will give us the right choice on what Nike should be doing with these shoes. So don't go anywhere. All right, YouTube, so like I said, we got something special for you guys. We're gonna be reviewing the Am Amanir 12s, both colorways, as my boy Josh said. I'm upset because I never hit on anything. This guy hits on everything. <laughs> he wasn't even trying to hit on these shoes. I wasn't, I wasn't at all. I just, Every time this guy. I was just the, I went to the website, saw the raffle was out. I'm on here, you know, their page. I got the, I had like, I'm subscribed to Soul Savage for those people who have it. You know, they give you early links and how to hit on sneakers, they give you tips, all that good stuff. All right. Put up the raffle on the website, you know, put your info, name, address, you know, uh -huh. how to charge you, how to charge you, address, all that. let it rock, let it ride. Whenever they pulled, you know, the ticket, whatever, my name, hey, you got one colorway, and then a couple of days later, or the following <laughs> week, yeah, yeah, the yeah, second yeah. I hit them up, and I'm like, hey, guess what, I just, I hit, go figure. I'm at work, and this is what he tells <laughs> all right, me. Listen, I'm at work too, man, relax. Yeah, you know I mean, this guy's got a lot of free time. But we got both colorways. We're gonna do a quick review. Yeah, we're gonna get into it real quick. Yeah, just, please you. just tell us what you guys think about the shoe. I'm, I'm, I love the colorway. I think I, I lean, idea. I lean to one, more one than the other. The black over the. I think I like the black more than the white. All right. I all think right, a I lot think. of people lean to the white pair just because it was exclusive. It's like I think like Europe accounts. Yeah, yeah. And just the one here here in the states. It wasn't released like on, on the sneakers app or any other boutiques. Okay. Except them. Yeah, there was some. It kind of had an exclusive factor. I mean, ever since it dropped, it was like February 24th, but ever since it dropped, the price is kind of. They dipped. Really? They dipped. They're not super low, but uh, they dipped. They pretty much go for a little bit on the retail. I mean, it, uh, it's, a, it's still a good shoe. It's still a, it's a very dope shoe. Um, I, I think. I think. The materials, but let's get into it. Yeah, let's stop talking about it. Let's stop talking about it. Let's, let's, let's show them what they got. Right, which color I got, man? Uh, right here on the label says white, black, burgundy, crush. Ooh, so you got the white. All right, I got the black, black, burgundy. So this is the, the packaging. Everybody knows the packaging. Yeah, everybody knows the packaging. Yeah, everybody knows the packaging. I'm still a fan of the sleeve. Are you? I, I'm a fan of the sleeve. All right, maybe I'll, maybe I'll keep this one. Yeah. All right, so obviously you got the. Classic, Classic uh, box, always. I'm um, on the branding there. That's always a plus. That is a plus. I mean, the box is it's beautiful. Yeah, it's thing. a nostalgia with the box for the, for the people yeah. that know that era of Nike when they were coming out of these boxes. Yeah. That's a win. So the shoe was originally released in the 96-97 season. This was after Jordan um, had just came back from retirement for the second time. And, uh, yeah. As that hit inside? Yeah, there he is during the playoffs against the Utah Jazz, um, the so-called uh, flu game. Flu game. It was actually flu poisoning. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> listen, the state flu game is sleeping. Yeah, man. It has it, a nice spring It's part of history now. You're going to call it a uh, pizza food poisoning yeah. game? Like that. I, I eat some bad pizza. Uh, so I got the black. Uh, nice. Then, listen, it's not a bad shoe, but I, for some reason, I don't know why. I, Whew. They smell delicious. I like this. I like these better. Do you really? I do. I mean, the suede, man. That that their chocolate burgundy, that yeah, Pantone color is... they have online, their color, that Almir color. Yeah. Is excellent. I love that. Love that, that color. I particularly do like it's the like idea. A chocolate burgundy, yeah. purplish kind of it's, blending it's... going in. It, it. I can smell the materials from here. No, yeah, it's, I'm close, it's high but... quality. It's high quality. I mean, the laces are waxed, and you know, it, it's just an amazing collaboration. No, I, a, I wish they would do so, more collabs like this. It's all around. It's all around shoe. At first glance, like, like 
There was no issues on major flaws. I saw a couple of glue stains, kind of like here. We, yeah, but you can remove your plane. Which you yeah, can remove yourself. You can, you can, if you're good um, with it. The both listen, both pairs are dope. But I think, like you know, white shoes, yeah, tear up, tore Now up. for the spring or the summer. And then this, white. this is the part I wasn't a fan of. I think um, on that pair, I wanted to stay consistent all black with that. No, not the black with that, that burgundy, that burgundy crush color all through. Okay. I think that would have been better. All right. I mean, but either way, it's still it, it it offsets it yes. in my opinion, especially for the black pair. It looks better on the white pair. I don't know how you people feel out there in YouTube land, but for me, having the herringbone white on the white pair, it really just flows with it. I see what you mean. Having the white bottom on these, it kind of throws it off. I think they could have done it maybe maybe black or what I'm saying, maybe a gray, gray. Yeah, I'm sorry with the the shank plate. Yeah, the how it's kind of. All right, so that that I mean, they did it. I mean, whatever you can you can always seal it with one of those. Um, I forgot the name of the sole. The, the oh, sole protection. Yeah, you the know, sole protection. That people, yeah, like, you rip can on peel on, and, on. on and I I particularly wouldn't do that. I, I'm I'm guessing it's gonna sound like you're walking on tape. Yeah, right? listen from from the, from the quilted. The inner. Yeah, the inner is it's um it's a thin, thin collar. It is with thinner. something. <laughs> <That's> totally <laughs> disappointing yeah. in comparison to something else that you will get yeah, into. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. But, um, Listen, the hang tag. The hang tag. Um, it, it's it's pretty much um, um, yeah, there. That's that's they their thing. Put out a good product, as they always have. You know, they they don't shy away. It's a from, great shoe. They don't shy. In my opinion, they just don't shy away from putting together the right materials. So, right from what I've noticed from the threes that you have back here, I mean, they use. Right, the quality. Four, the fours. Yeah, the fours. Four that was I'm sorry, you freaking got rid of those. <laughs> but um, every Alma Manier, um collab has just been, man, they don't, like I said, they don't no, shy away from, from, from they don't miss. the right they don't miss. leathers or suede, whatever they use, it's top notch, it's top quality. The so ones, they, I was a big fan of the ones. Yeah, the yeah. twos were good. I think, you know, if you're a two fan. The twos I've never seen, like hell. The ones I've seen, the fours yeah. I've seen, the threes. James, obviously, you have a pair. James yeah. Whitner, no one, yeah. I, I want to know what's the next shoe. Like, See, so give me a six the or twelves a five. for I want, yeah, the twelves manifest as an ode to black women. Joined by a visual title, she's the blueprint. They put a YouTube visual out. Um, I want yeah, project celebrated black women and all their glory, highlighting their overlooked impact on culture, community, and style. Okay. Every every release that he puts out always has a statement. About the community, yeah, right. it's always on point, man. Keep keep them coming. I'm on yeah. here. I I can't wait to see what the next shoes. No, are. I recommend people get them. Like I said, oh I, no, if please. I choose, you I'm go going, with the black. I'm going with the black. I I'll go with the white only because you know, the black is really suede, so yeah, yeah, they yeah. have to throw some protectant on there. Oh, I mean, don't. get something, some waterproof. You know, I'm okay, case. I'm not gonna wear them in crazy yellowness. Yeah, yeah I, I wear my shoes wherever. Right, you don't, care. you don't mind cooking your stuff in whatever nope. weather. So. And I'll, I'll play basketball in there too. <laughs> I don't care, you two. But the the white, I favor the white only because it, it's kind of that offset, and it, it reminds me of the white and black original color and the white right. and red original color that released in ninety six ninety seven, which Jordan would wear either at home or away. Now the history of the shoe is that. It was sort of Tinker's take on the Japanese sunrise and women's high heel shoes or fashion. And Jordan obviously was immediately in love with the model. And when it released in 96, 97, the original colorway was the black, white, and taxi yellow or gold. And then you had the white and red, which was the color that he wore uh, in away games. And then obviously in the playoffs, Boom. he introduced the black and red and the black on white which were the playoffs that just released a couple of years ago that was tough um, everybody knows the playoffs and the 12 synonymous especially in this colorway synonymous with him getting sick which is obviously indicated on the box of the so called flu game and then, that's did he, did he push him for the final shot or he just he didn't push him man that was, that was the next year man that, that was like the 14 stop crying you know what I mean <laughs> Brian Russell stop crying he, he, he got across and he made the winning shot that's what listen, happened listen let's Show the people so, the surprise. The surprise that I have for Here, you guys. This surprise. I'm when I first give saw you, these, they I'm ruined. A, they yeah. ruined my view <laughs> on the 12 uh, yeah, forever. The quality, 
Just, Yo. just open it. Just, wait, hold on. Let me put this. Let me just put this in here. Leave nah, one out. Leave out. Close the box. Leave out. <laughs> All right. So we got two of them. You two. This is from my personal stash. There we go. Now these shoes we're talking about. Yeah, I'm gonna slide these over to you. So we're talking about oh, a pair of shoes boy. that are about 26 years old now. Hey. Um, and I had them. I had them restored by a, a great friend of mine. Shout out to you, Alex, out there. Uh, flipping kicks and um, he plug him, plug him, give him yo, a that's my boy right there. YouTube, follow that man on yes, Instagram. If you got sneakers that need to be restored, if you he, need Air Jordan One Eighty Fives, anything you need restored, that man will restore them. He restored a pair of Kobe's for none other than John Morant. John Morant. Let me uh, let me give the, uh, his IG, his Instagram, F L I P P I N underscore. K I C K Z flipping kicks. I'll read you. Shout out to flipping kicks. Shout out to you, yo, dear customer. Below you will find your shoes recently packaged or neatly packaged. If you have any issues now or in the future, please do not hesitate to reach out for assistance. Now, if you look, it says recreating originality. So let's show them what the originality is. Jeez. Sorry, YouTube. I have to bring these out to do a comparison. And a ziplock. Yeah, so I mean, this is an original pair. This white and red, not the cherries like this, you like to call them. I'm sorry, I had to bring these out. The quality on these, the collar, the leather, the weight, in comparison to any <laughs> other twelve I've seen. Yo, let, let, let's, so let's do this. Destroys let, here, YouTube. Let, destroys let's every let's other see twelve. Let's retro. Look at this. Let's see what Nike has done. Yeah, no, this is. To this shoe. Original shoe. This is the original shoe. Let's compare the height. Which is releasing this year. Christmas time, Christmas time, November. I'm gonna have them on my feet before all you people out there. Nah. Sorry. But flipping kicks restored them for me. I'm putting them on my feet. I've already worn these and I've I haven't gotten the attention that I thought I would get because people don't know. But, but those cherries. Those everybody's, are, everybody's, everybody's after these. Yeah, man. Those are just something else. So as you see If they were to put them out with the, this quality. Oh, forget it, man. I would forget about it. It 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 would have it would have sent the the sneaker world, you know. Forget it. it. It's just Nike has taken the twelve, and, and in my opinion, they've sort of watered it down. Watered it down a lot, and and I don't think like they they still using this. They're still using the same technology, the the Zoom Air and things like that. Because I had the playoffs and I played ball in them and they were actually right. like good. Like I was shocked that they still had the technology. But it's the quality of the shoe. That I think that's the point that's disappointing. You, like, yeah. Where like where is it? I don't know. It's somewhere here. Right back here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. No, so no, no, you know what I'm to? Man, I gotta do it right, for the fans. One? Nah, brother, they're right here under your level. That's a pack. Yeah, you two. And I hate to bring these out. Now these these have been worn several times. Yeah, but but even comparing them... When you compare... So you compare... There's actual size difference. Well, these are a size 9. These are a size 10, 10 and a half. Which no, is, is it 9 or 9 and a half? I think they're a 9. I think these are 9 and a half. Right? Oh, no. These are 9. Okay. okay. So... I yeah, mean, but the collar itself... The collar, the, quality, the height... You can tell. Yeah. The padding... Yeah, the this padding is, on the... I mean, t these are from the uh, the pack. Right. These are from the... From the uh, pack with the... the defining uh, Moments with pack. The, right, with the, with the 11, so he has the 11s yeah, right also. 11. I mean, you tell me, YouTube. Nike's got to bring this shoe back like this. Now, can you imagine these Armand Meniers like this? Can you imagine? Right, that? no, the same material. But just, just the same. Just up it, right? The, the same, same cut. Quality. I mean, you tell me. I'm no, sold. Just, thanks for bringing them, because those are... Yeah. Those are beauty, man. Those thank both you, of them. And, and I kept them for so long, and when I sent them... To get restored by flipping kicks, he was just he he texted me back, he hit me up, and he was like, "Man, these things are beautiful." No, like, they were, been the sitting. upper, the upper was you could tell the upper. He didn't have to do much to the upper. It's no, it was just, just yeah, reglue, full reglue, yeah. replace the tabs. Because what happens with these shoes, YouTube, is that the tab crumbles. So those of you guys that have an original pair from '97, hit my boy flipping kicks up, man, and he will. They, I, I've already been on some of his videos. He's on Instagram. Follow him. And he's had a few people, after they saw mine, pe people started sending him yeah, the 12s, the red and whites, because everybody knows that the red and whites are coming back out. Right. In November, I think. I think just before Thanksgiving or... or it's around that time. 
So, I mean, tell us what you think, YouTube. I mean, should Nike start releasing the 12s? Should the red and white 12s that are supposed to release in November look like this? But, listen, I, sneakerheads. Yeah, fans, they're going to buy. buy. No, they're going to get them regardless of yeah. you know, the quality. Yeah, it's the it, colorway it's, and the shoe model itself that people are after. I mean, look at that, man. You, you're not going to get quality. For real, for real, purists. Oh, yeah. Sneakerhead, yeah. grail cats that covet the original. Yeah. They're going to want that. But in reality, is Nike, Nike going to put out the yeah. same type? Maybe, I doubt maybe it. Maybe not. I mean... I doubt it. You're going to see me in the streets with those, YouTube. I'm going to be putting those on. Maybe not this week. I don't know. I haven't decided when, but <laughs> I wore these to the mall the other day. And... Um, uh, no, it's... They, they, it's they, crazy. They're just... Quality is they're, insane. They're beautiful shoes. I hope Nike continues, like... Gets away from kind of watering down the shoe. Great collab. No, but these, these are not beautiful. watered down. These are great uh, interpretations and that, collabs. It's a it's great this. I would say when they, when they retro them. Yeah, not so much this because yeah. it's, it's a collab between Jamie yeah, Wayne and Team Alma Manier. These are great. What I'm saying is when they retro them, give them that same love. Yeah, please. You know? Give them that love. Like with the Lost and Found. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah, with the Lost I'm not pounds. saying like do reimagine, but put some quality yeah, into Even them. like... I mean, even like the ones, you know, where they've actually brought back the 85 look and it's, right, it's right, as right. close as you're going to get. So give us oh, that with... Right, it'll never be a one-to-one, -one, but give yeah, us something like, up I'm there. I'm not asking for the perfect shoe, but this is <laughs> this is a big difference, you know, from the pull tab, you know, the lacing system that they used back then, the laces. Like, let's get, let's get, it, let's get it a little more up there, close to what the originality of the shoe, because that's what a retro is supposed to be, Nike. It's a retrospect of what the shoe was and what it should look like today. So tell us what you think, YouTube. Yeah. I mean, should Nike continue to release shoes like this? You know, the collabs are great, but do we need a shoe that's gonna look more like the original? From the stance of the shoe, the leather quality, or, is, or are they gonna race and bump the prices, which is what they'll probably do? Yeah, that's the trend. Ah, we'll see. Don't do it, Nike. We'll see going forward. Don't forget, Follow my yeah, boy Flipping Kiss. Kiss. And he will restore shout your shoes. Manier for, shout out to Amal Manier for, for their raffle. No, every release, it's always been a fair release. Yeah, I think, it, you it's know, been people, pretty fair. People hit. I mean, I, I. Again, we're going with these. We're going with these. I'm going with these, man. Only because they look Woo. a lot like these and they remind me of them. Hey. All right, All right YouTube. Until the next time. Hit that like button. Subscribe. I'm your host, Al. Josh. You know where you at? Pick You're here with pickups, baby. My brother. Wow. Stay tuned for the next video.